Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lottie. So today we will be actually learning how to use colored gels with our photography. We're gonna put two gels on the side, then we're also gonna introduce a plain white light in the front, just in order to preserve the skin tones. So for today, I will be using the Canon R5 with a 24 to 70 lens. Something else I would like for you guys to keep in mind is that typically when you're trying to use the color gels, um, we're going to go to a gray background. You want to kind of stick to the darker backgrounds. The gray works really, really well with this. Um, I might do another video trying out white because I've never tried out white before, but um, I know for sure that the gray works very, very well. So yeah, this is, um, I think it's fashion gray or studio gray, something like that. So yeah, for this setup, I'll be using three lights. I'm going to have side, which will be the Godox 200 AD. And then for my main light, which will be my key light, I will be using the Godox 400 with a umbrella to diffuse the light on there. So let's go ahead and get that set up. I will be using um, this pack of color gels. I got this from b &H Photo. Um, it says Vivid Colors. It is 12 sheets of color gels in here. They are 12 by 12, so about this big. So I have just a hair tie, color gel, and I just stick it on here. I'll be using the Apollo softbox. Like I say, I don't know, I think this thing is about maybe 40, two inches or something like that, 43 inches. This is the Godox, the AD400. I'll go ahead and turn that on. So for my other um, light, I'm gonna actually be using this orange one. So I mean the same thing, like I said, just gonna strap it on here. I'm gonna place these on both sides. So one this way, one the other way. Try to make them somewhat even in height and distance away from your model, like so. So for today, I will be using the Canon R5 with a 24 to 70 lens. Um, our shutter speed at one over 200, our f-stop at 6.3, and the ISO at 250. So right now I do have both of the lights set on, well cut on, and Actually, let me turn this one off because I think I'll turn this off. I have two of the back lights on. I feel like they are not even, but let's see. These are both um, at 1 over 32. The lights in the background. So let's see what's happening good let's see what it looks like when I turn the flash power from 1 over 32 to um, 1 over 16 let me push y'all back okay, maybe about here okay definitely a lot brighter it's kind of what I wanted so now we're gonna go ahead and introduce our key light to this. So right now you can see like the model, her face really doesn't have like any particular color. Like you can't really see the skin tone. So in order to get the skin tones, 
we're going to go ahead and introduce. Let me show you guys one more time, though. So you guys can see like there's no real skin tone. So in order to, you know, kind of have the skin tone come back, we're going to have this key light here. I do have it off to a 45 degree angle. I kind of didn't want it that far off, but we'll see. Um, the key to this though, is you don't want to wash out the colors in the background. So I'm going to start my flash power for this one on um, one over 64, just because this light is really close to the model. Like if you see my, my arm, well, let me try the other arm. Like it's literally like this arm's reach and I'm about five, four. So let's see. All right, so you guys can see it's bringing back in that color of the skin. So let me actually go one over my flash power for this one. Let's go one over 128 and see what happens if I do have that light pretty close. Okay, so on this one, it's not bright enough, but I do kind of like how it's preserving the colors a little bit more. So me personally, if I have the option, I'll probably just try to slide the light a little bit closer to the model. So let's see. There we go, it's opening up the face a little bit more. I think that's actually pretty good. So yeah, so we have done it again, another successful day of shooting. So. If you guys are interested in color gels, of course, you can do many different colors. Uh, before we leave, I guess I'm going to try like maybe um, like a blue or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but let's do that really quick before we get out of here. Okay, so thinking about complementary colors, uh, I'm no pro at this, but I'm going to try the blue. So we're going to keep the red and we're going to put the blue on it, see. So we're gonna be changing this orange out to blue just to see what happens because I've actually never used the blue before. So let's see. All right, let's go ahead and shoot it. Once again, I did not change any camera settings. Everything is still the same. But let's just see what the blue looks like in here. Ooh, I kind of like that. It's kind of like giving a little purplish. Yeah, that's nice. That's way better than what I was actually showing y'all with the other ones. I, I really like that a lot. Let's turn the face a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I can I can get down with that one. I like that. That's very, very perfect for me. So um, what actually I would have the model face this way since my light is coming from this direction. Unless I wanted to kind of give that little shadow. But let's see. You can might square up a little bit, my friend. There you go. There we go. Oh yeah, I think that is, that's definitely great for me. Like I'm smiling from ear to ear. Like I really like those colors together. So that worked out perfectly. So you guys, that will conclude our um, color gels for today. If you like this content and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to this channel and let us know what you want to see. Um, we're just here for you, okay? So let us know. And I thank you again for tuning in. And we'll catch you next time. See ya.